Okay. What we have now is Rex mounted in a more workable fashion with a servo, two linear actuators essentially mounted to the servo arm and all of this connected to the back plate that we had previously made. I went ahead and inserted this threaded rod up through the back of Rex's skull to help maintain position and also if we can get down in there and I can get focused you can see that we've taken where the piece of threaded rod was and gone ahead and placed a quarter twenty bolt there so the bottom plate uh, the plate for the skull mount I should say right here is drilled and tapped for 832 screws to attach the linear actuators. The back side here is also drilled and tapped to accept the linear actuators and the actuators are screwed up through the servo arm itself. And then right now, currently using a piece of what we had originally configured to be the lower jaw, I've recut and bent to mount the servo to. This week I'm going to work on getting a better servo mount. This is sort of the prototype version that is still going to incorporate attaching the neck and head assembly using this half inch EMT compression connector because this allows me to use the spine as a spine. It not only serves as a rigid structure, it also serves as a conduit for the control wires that are going to drive all of Rex's functions. Right now, Rex is just set up using an Arduino Uno with a breakout board as a prototyping model. And you will see she runs just fine off of a 9 volt battery. Still got to do a little bit of code work to get the servo positions dialed in exactly where I want them. I need to calibrate the servo a little bit better as well as figure out exactly where I want the range of travel to be to set the delays a little bit more, things like that. But I think as a, a quick test bed for getting Rex to start behaving in an autonomous way as a, as a real robot, we are getting there. So right now Rex is just running code that I've put together using modifying stuff that's readily found on the internet and sooner or later here we're going to incorporate some voice recognition stuff you might be able to see the mic in the background there for the g-tech voice recognition module that i plan on using and all of that is going to help us get rex to be a voice controlled autonomous robot so forward progress is being made cheers